today I saw that my Skyrim Special Edition is ready to be installed. And I did not know how this was going to work until I saw a post from uh, probably a PC gamer or somewhere like that um, that said that the, uh, that the Special Edition would be a separate download and install. So that means that my vanilla game a uh, no mod game uh, would not be automatically updated by this content. So I uh, thought that while I'm downloading the game uh, for... S for Whoa, he just appeared out of nowhere. I didn't call him. He just... And now what's he doing? Oh, oh, you need uh. Here is my mm. character that I, that I had when I bought the game in 2013 and I put in a few hundred hours. I built my little Lakeview house, and I probably have spent more time on the side quests and dilly dallying around than I have on the main quest. This is my Dunmer Daeris, and she is. Uh, this was as beautiful as I could get her. For some reason, they just. I, I never was really happy with the textures for the dark elf. I mean, they all look kind of tired and gaunt and pointy. I don't think that that will change in the special edition, but we'll see. That's why I wanted to record a little bit of footage of this. This is with the um, high resolution texture pack from Bethesda. So I don't have any mods. I don't have anybody else's uh, quick fixes. I don't have any of that stuff. So recently when I came back to the game, it's about three computers ago when I started this game, and uh, it was so lovely to discover that because of the way that Steam runs their, you know, cloud, that all I had to do was download this game and, and I had this saved game again. So I was able to revive her and what can I deal do? with one of her issues, which was... Uh, this giant that came down here and killed all their livestock and has been lurking about the house for months because every time I ever tried to do anything about him uh, he killed me so he was chasing my children out through the forest and everybody Farkas and and everybody I have uh, what can I do for you? Llewellyn the nightingale comes here and he he lives here and he sings for me I keep my horse up here because it seems to be safer than down there in the in the stables. And we'll go inside in my Lakeview Manor and see uh, my other, my husband and children. Mama. I have Sophie and I have Runa hmm? Fair Shield. And my husband took me a little while to fix, oh, somebody has messed this kettle up. Um, my husband took a little while to get because he's the only one of his kind. And where is he? This dog, Miko, um, he likes to sit in a corner and stare at the wall. I don't know why. So, uh, Farkas is my follower because, as, because I'm just kind of cheating. As long as I don't continue on his quest line, he will continue following me all around. Know where my husband has run off to. So once the game is downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can port the saved game over to the new content. We'll see how that goes. I just wanted to show this off because then that way we know if this if the instructions work. Also, I am set up on a computer that has an SSD drive, so my game is saved on an E drive or, you know, a non C drive. Good to see you, dear. Here's my only, the only Dunmer husband available, as far as I understand, yes, without Lord. a mod. And it took me a long time to get him, so. Yes, love. Romlin. And that's about it for my place. 
So this is with the Bethesda run high resolution textures. I was enjoying the evening the other, the other night with the stars out. The trees are crisp, you know. So this is vanilla high res. So we shall find out. Sven! Sven is dead! What the heck? Oh my goodness. Sven was my house Carl. I didn't know he was dead. The giant must have got him. Shit. Uh, you know what? I've tried to save Sven 10,000 million times. I saved him from the village because every time I went to the village, the dragon would jump in and kill Sven. My house Carl is dead. This is just... just crap. Good grief. House Carl. Oh. Oh my goodness. So I just don't know what to do about this. I've saved him a million times. I don't know if I should keep saving him. Oh. Alright, so bad news for me here in Vanilla Skyrim. Anyway, I will be back and see if we can get this game into the special edition. I will go through the steps and if they are successful then I will go ahead and complete this video showing how to move your saved game from Vanilla Skyrim to the special edition Skyrim. Okay, I'm back. So once the uh, Skyrim special edition in Steam has downloaded uh, and tells you that it is ready to play, you will want to go ahead and hit play and start a new game. Uh, the reason why you want to do this is because it will not op it will not create a new folder for your saved games until you have done this step. So that means you would, I've already done this, so I'm just showing you. So you would want to go ahead and hit start a new game, and then once the credits, you know, the new little beginning movie starts, you can go ahead and hit escape, and then exit the game. So once you've done that and you exited the game, you will want to go into your... I'll show you where it's located. I've already have these folders open. So on Windows 7, your saved games are located under libraries and documents. And then under documents, you go to uh, my games and you will see that you have two folders. One is Skyrim, that's, that would be your original Skyrim, and you have a new folder called Skyrim Special Edition. So you'd open your original Skyrim folder, and you'll see that there is a folder called Saves. And then you want to open the other folder, Skyrim Special Edition, in a new window. So once you have the new window up, I already have this. So on the top, I have my vanilla Skyrim. And on the bottom, I have my, uh, just the, uh, my games is open so that you can highlight this folder, Skyrim Special Edition. Now before I get started, I've got one other thing to point out. If you have the vanilla Skyrim and you, a long time ago, you downloaded the Skyrim high resolution texture pack from Bethesda, you're probably going to want to go ahead and uncheck the texture pack. Then you would play the game again, load all the way into your game, and then go ahead and create another save before you do anything else. Because I, when I ran through this the first time, I got an, sort of like an error message that my game was dependent on the style, texture pack and it might break the game uh, in special edition. It did not, but I didn't want to have that message continuously popping up. So I went back here, unchecked the resolution pack, played the game again, saved it, and now 
I'm ready to, to copy my game over. So in your original Skyrim save folder, all you have to do is right click, copy, and then you go down to your Skyrim special edition folder. You don't go inside it, you just highlight it, then right click it, and click paste. You're going to get this pop-up that comes up and asks you if you want to replace the folder that's matching it already. And you would say yes. And for the first time, you won't have, you'll, you'll be asked to replace this folder, but you won't have to replace files. Now, because I've already done this, I'm going to be asked to copy, you know, if I want to copy and replace, don't copy or, you know, whatever. So I, I don't need to go through this again because I've already done it and I can, you know, click to keep doing it. So I would probably do copy and replace. And if you, for some reason, had to do this a couple of times, this is how, it, how you would handle it. You would probably just copy and replace for all of the conflicts. Just do that. Now, I don't have any conflicts because I've already gone through this. So now that I have my saved game installed in the Skyrim Special Edition, I will hit play and go ahead and see if my game is still there. I will go ahead and click continue because I've got a saved game. This continue shows up. I don't know if I went through this before, but in the new special edition, you now have direct access to a small collection of mods that are now available from the Bethesda website. So uh, you will need to have a login name and password in order to access those those mods. Uh, and once you do, uh, you'll be able to have a little selection and you click on the ones that you want and it will install it for you. You get a big old warning about the mods. Also, just like in Fallout 4, if you use mods, you're not going to have your, your achievements will be disabled. So this is just a new feature with the new launcher. I find that very nice. You know, I've been playing vanilla. It's going to ask you to log in and all this stuff now. I guess it forgot me already. So I'm going to go back because I'm not going to play. I'm not going to install any mods. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Now some of these textures are supposed to be phenomenally awesome in the new special edition. And I believe that we will have depth of field is one of the newer additions to the overall feel of the game. Now, so this is it. Kind of looks need something. Now the characters haven't changed. What can I do for you? Her eyes are a little brighter actually. I should have done some comparison. I did take some snapshots. Maybe I'll throw them up here. The water, I think the water has definitely changed. Mm. My house Carl has not come back to life miraculously. I'm not going to go too far because I'm afraid probably some other crap is going to show up. But down here is a little pond with some water. And I just wanted to look at that. Alright, so... This works for me. Playing Skyrim Special Edition with my... Old save game. And... I like living here. The lake is so pretty. Yeah, it's great until the giants and the dragons come, dear. We're probably going to move to town. Anyway, that is it. Very simple, easy, and I hope it works. Thanks for watching.